Are you ready to hit the ground running and quickly level up your skills to become a motion graphics pro? In just a few moments, we'll break down 10 subtle but effective motion graphics that'll instantly make any project amazing. Let's jump in and get started. Okay, so the first graphic we'll create is this simple rectangle to help frame text inside of your projects. Start by selecting the rectangle tool, set fill to none, stroke to solid color, and we'll make it white, then set the stroke width to three. Click and drag to create a rectangle around your text like this, then open the rectangle layer and select Add, Trim Paths. For the trim paths, set a keyframe for End and Offset, set the End to 0%, move forward a little bit on the timeline, set End to 100%, and then set the offset to around 180 degrees. We have this nice animation now, but it's pretty stiff, so we'll highlight the keyframes, press F9 to make them Easy Ease keyframes, Open the Graph Editor tool, and we'll pull in the curves like this to give it a nice smooth animation curve. Now we have this nice animated box to put around our text, and you can duplicate and resize this rectangle to fit different types of title compositions as needed. Next up, we'll make this simple arrow shape and give it a quick animation to use as an accent in your projects. All you need to do to make this arrow is select the Pen tool. We'll use the same settings as our rectangle layer, then hold shift and click to create a right angle line like this one. Hold control, then double click the pan behind tool to center the anchor point of the shape, then rotate it by 45 degrees. Then deselect the layer, select it again, and now we'll draw a line that connects to the angle to create our arrow shape, and then you can center the anchor point once again. For the animation, we'll set a keyframe for scale and rotation. Set rotation to negative 180 degrees, scale to 0%, move forward a bit on the timeline, set the rotation back to 45, scale back to 100, then make the keyframes easy ease and adjust the curve in the graph editor to smooth out the animation. Now we have this nice little arrow accent graphic that we can throw into our compositions. Next, we'll take a look at how to make this animated X shape to add flavor around your composition. Just like with the arrow shape, we'll select the pen tool, then create a straight line, center the anchor point of the line, and then rotate that line by 45 degrees. Now, open the shape layer, contents, highlight shape one, make sure its anchor point is also in the center, duplicate shape one, then rotate the duplicate by 90 degrees to create the X shape. After that, we can add the same rotation animation that we did for the arrow by setting keyframes for both the scale and rotation of the shape. Then we can duplicate the X shape and position it next to the first one and then do this one more time to create an array of them like this. Then what you can do is offset them on the timeline so that their animations are staggered. Now we have this cool accent graphic to use in our projects. If you like the amazing templates in this video and you want an easy way to add them to your projects in the click of a button, check out our Element Builder Pack. It features a variety of awesome elements just like the ones we're making that can be used to enhance any project. For this pack and thousands of other templates, visit sunduckfilm.com for more details. Thanks for the support, it's what keeps this channel going. Next up, we'll look at how to create this clean line array that can be used to add detail to the corners of your composition. For this graphic, we'll use the rectangle tool, then create a small short rectangle like this. Use the pan behind tool to set the anchor point to be at the leftmost side of the rectangle, then press S for scale and uncheck the uniform scale chain. Set a keyframe for scale, set the X scale to zero, move forward a bit, set the X scale back to 100, make those keyframes easy ease, and now we have our one line animated and ready to go. Now you just duplicate the line, position it underneath of the first, offset it by just a few frames on the timeline, and then repeat this step one more time, duplicating, repositioning, and offsetting, so that you have an array of three lines on top of each other like this. And this looks great, another clean accent graphic that can be made super easily. Next, we'll create this curved asterisk element that you can add anywhere onto your projects. To start, we'll grab the pen tool, then draw a small curve from the center of our composition like this. Then open that shape layer, Contents, Stroke 1, and then set the line cap to be a round cap. Click Add, Repeater, set the copies to 9, open Transform Repeater, set the position to 0, 0, and then the rotation to 40 degrees. Next, click Add, Trim Paths, set a keyframe for End, set End to 0%, move forward a bit on the timeline, set End to 100%, 
Then make the keyframes easy ease and smooth out the animation however you'd like. Now your asterisk graphic is complete and ready to use. Next up, we'll make this bouncing ball graphic to add to your compositions. Start by selecting the ellipse tool, create a small circle and center the anchor point on it, and then press S for scale and set a keyframe. Move forward a bit on the timeline, set another keyframe, then move that same amount forward again and set one more keyframe. Set the scale to 0% on the first and last keyframe so that it scales up and down like this, then highlight all of the keyframes and press F9 to make them easy ease. Open the graph editor tool, click and drag to highlight the center keyframe, then drag the curve away from the center on both sides like this. This makes it so that the animation starts fast, slows down, and then ends fast. Now hold Alt, click the stopwatch for scale, type in the loop out expression like this, and now we have our looping ball animation. Then what you can do is position that ball wherever you want on the composition, duplicate the ball again, reposition it, make another, and then do the same. Then offset each of the balls on the timeline to stagger the animation. And now our bouncing ball asset is complete and added to the composition. Next we'll create this cool spinning wheel of arrows. Start by creating a circle shape in the center of the composition like this, then open that layer, click add, trim paths, and set the end of the trim paths to 25%. Now duplicate that circle, set the rotation of this one to 120 degrees, duplicate it again, and then set the rotation of this one to 240 degrees. Then select the pen tool and draw a right angle like this to put at the end of each line, and then go and position and rotate the arrow so that it lines up properly. Do this again for both of the other lines until you have this set of three curved arrows rotating into each other like this. Now go to Layer, New, Null Object, parent all of the shape layers to that null object, open the rotation for the null, hold Alt, click the stopwatch, and then type in Time Asterisk 50. And now our rotating circle of arrows is done and ready to be used. Next we'll take a quick look at how to make this constantly rotating X graphic using more expressions. I made this X layer the same way as the previous X layer that we made, and to make it rotate the way that we want, just press R and then set a keyframe for rotation. Move forward a little bit on the timeline, increase the rotation by 90 degrees, make the keyframes easy ease, then drag the curve of the ease all the way to the left like this. Then we'll add the loop out expression again and it will constantly rotate 90 degrees. Now our stylized X element is animated and can be used in any composition. Next, we'll create this circle element that can be used to enhance a title layer. Start by creating a big circle like this over the center of your titles, then change to the rectangle tool, set the fill to solid and stroke back to none, then create a rectangle that covers all of your text cutting across the circle like this. Now set the track mat of the circle layer to be the rectangle that we just made, and invert the track mat so that it cuts the rectangle shape from our circle like this. Then we'll animate our circle by adding the trim paths effect again, set a keyframe for end and offset, set the end to 0%, move forward a bit, set end to 100%, and offset to 180 degrees. Make those keyframes easy ease, then for the curve we'll drag both ends closer to the center like this. And now our circle element is done and ready to be used with your title layers. Our last element is similar to our previous one, but we're going to be adding a line that crosses over it to expand on the idea. Here's our circle and title layer, and the first thing we'll do is use the pen tool to create a straight line like this, center it in the middle, then rotate it by 45 degrees. Duplicate the circle, then set the fill of the circle to be a solid color. Now increase its scale a bit so that it's larger than the original. Now set the track mat of our line to be this new bigger circle, invert the track mat, then we'll go to Add, Trim Paths. I'll set a keyframe for end at 0%, move forward, set it back to 100, and then make the keyframes easy ease. Now our cut up line element is done and can be used to expand on your other elements. With these 10 easy concepts, you can quickly create high quality and stylish elements to add to any of your projects and elevate them to the next level.